Hello, this is Adam Gibson from Learn3dsoftware.com. Uh, we're here today to talk about our one of our ZBrush videos on how to export displacement maps from ZBrush 4 into uh, Lightwave 3D. Um, in our project, we use a Velociraptor. Okay. And uh, in this project, we add some musculature and some um, bones and tendons and stuff that lie underneath the skin of the uh, dino. Uh, it was a basic dinosaur that was modeled in Lightwave, and then we detailed it inside of ZBrush. So it sort of shows you how to get things in and out of, uh, get, get stuff out of Lightwave into ZBrush and then back out again. So we'll show you how to export a displacement map that will create all this musculature and bonage, if that's a word. Uh, so, uh, and, and this is just for displacements. We also have other videos that actually show uh, normal mapping, which is more for uh, fine detail stuff like scales, whereas displacement maps are generally used for things like uh, small bumps and musculature musculature and tendons and that type of stuff um, making uh, more of a pronounced look say like to uh, to the face like this as well uh, giving things a little bit more detail making things stick out instead of very flat and boring so you can see there's sort of like shadowy type uh, um, areas on the the actual creature and that's where the musculature and the and the bones are sort of uh, sticking out catching the light. So um, if you're interested in uh, knowing, knowing how to uh, make do projects that involve uh, both Lightwave and ZBrush, although a lot of the principles in here will teach you how to um, work with other software packages. I always do specifically work with Lightwave and ZBrush in this tutorial. Um, if you're interested in that, um, all you have to do is go to learn3dsoftware.com. Um, we, as you can see here, we have a menu of different software packages. Just go under ZBrush, and for displacement maps, just click on displacement maps video, and here you'll find it. Um, you'll also find a full uh, description of the video and a full table of contents. Um, listing of everything step by step that we do. Uh, this training video is eight hours and seven minutes long. It's filmed in uh, or videotaped in or not videotaped. It is captured at uh, HD resolution of 1440 by 900 pixels. Okay, and it is for beginners to immediate level users. Okay, we also have a package of all three of the ZBrush for Lightwave user. Uh, videos which cover normal maps, displacement maps, and, and color maps. So this will show you how to get uh, all your, your color, normal, and displacement maps in and out of ZBrush. Okay, How to create models outside of uh, uh, ZBrush, make sure that they're prepared properly to import, and then we bring everything all back in again, back from all the way back from ZBrush all the way back into Lightwave, and reapply all these uh, these maps. Okay, um, if you get the package, which is forty five dollars, you save about twelve bucks. Normally, each vid, uh, individual video on its own is uh, nineteen dollars. Okay, so that's all the time we have for today. Until next time, this is Adam Gibson from Learn3dSoftware.com.